Yeah, hi friend. Uh, welcome back to your channel, uh, Technical Field Boss. So today I'm going to teach you regarding how we can uh, how we can use Git in a, in your projects. Okay, so let's start. So for that, first of all, you have to install Git, and that you can done from this website. So what you have to do, I mean, you have to go to Google and then type install Git. So before before going to install anything, uh, let me explain you something regarding Git. So if I type what is Git, then uh, we get an uh, answer. Okay. So Git Git is a I would say it's a distributed version control system. So it's a version control system that track the change of any set of computer files or anything which a program which we do and for programmer collaboration. So in short, if I if I tell that Git Git is a, a free version control system, okay, or or a software where a programmer uh, used to have their code and they can share, okay, their code from it. And so let's start. So first of all, uh, we have to install Git in our in, in our system, and we can uh, we can just simply go to Google and type download download get okay so it will it will take you to this page and then if you are using windows then click here so what it will do it will take you to this page and then click here it will download the git exe in your computer so if you if you see they see there if you go to download uh, we will have the uh, git exe file okay so let's download it uh, yeah so it, it downloaded okay and you can see yeah yeah, yeah it is getting download so let us see yeah so this git bash is, is, is setup is getting download so if you just simply double click click there okay and it will ask you to uh, whether you want to download this thing or not okay you have to click on, on install in this way it will it will download you in, in your system i already have a git install in my system okay so this is still what it will do it will update it with the with the latest version so i am uh, doing it from the scratch from the starting so that you also uh, get get this thing in your machine okay so i would suggest uh, to have this uh, to every developer or every i would say engineers or everyone who are who are learning learning uh, programming so to have this and to share your code uh, through kids okay so let's see how much time it will take i, I think it will take uh, less than two minutes so uh, yeah it's a very good habit in, to every programmer to have this to to, to share uh, to have your code here because in this way you can share your code and somehow uh, if somehow how your your computer get crash uh, you will you will still have your code intact right uh, and you can share your code with the with your teammates also so it's a must for i would say all the developer okay so i can do this i can launch and i can just click on finish so you we can see that okay git bash has been launched so i can check the version from here also git dash dash version okay so now my computer have 2.4 uh you can you can you can uh use git through git bash or even command prompt also in command prompt also uh, it will get integrated so if i open a command prompt you can see i can i can use the command git okay yeah so now we have a git installed in our system uh, let us sign up in in github and then use use git from our local system there okay so what we have to do we have to 
go to github.com github.com okay and then there uh, you have two option uh, sign in and sign up so i would say do sign up there because uh, this will provide you the visual i would say like like here you can see all your codes okay and then if you go there just wait for a few seconds it will ask for your uh, email id password okay email id password and everything okay so if you get, click on continue it will ask for password if you click on continue if you click on continue it will ask for a uh, username okay if you not available okay is available if you continue then it will ask okay whether you want any notification or not uh, if you click on continue then what will happen uh, it will ask you to verify your account okay start a puzzle and then uh, verify uh, have this puzzle and verify your account so once you once you verify your account you can able to uh, log in into gets okay so i am showing my account like this is this is my git so you will also get uh, some screen something like this, this if you get logged and then uh, you can update your image uh, edit this thing okay and with the time you will have this batch in your achievements so uh, regarding where you will store your code it, it will reside inside this repository this is the place where uh, you you can store your code so you can find your repository and then if you want to create anyone I mean if, if it's a free then it, then first time uh, once you sign up and then log in here uh, this thing will not be there this this will be a blank page this image will not be there okay this is my fix. so you can change it okay change so you have to click on this new i'm showing you again so this is your dashboard you have to go to repository if you want to create a new repository and then click on new okay you have to i have to write some name that should be unique in a I mean with respect to your repository okay it should be unique i cannot use the same uh same repository name with the two repositories so it repository should be unique with respect to your name okay I mean, and then you have to give some description like this is my test projects so this will be the project descriptions whatever you can you can write uh, public and private if you if you if you click on public then anybody can see your project uh, uh, who have the, your who have a, I mean anybody can come and see your uh, project or download your project if you keep it private then it will be with you only this is the readme file i i would i would uh, suggest that like like add a readme file and then give a long description regarding the project like how can we start a project how can we encode a project so you can create it from here okay so in this way you will have a repository or 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 if you want to import any other repository then simply click here okay click here and give the uh, any repository name other repository name so you can clone it from there also like like if if i have um, github.com mean i have one repository suppose node.js hello world okay so if i do this thing what it will do it will it will import uh the detail of, of of that repository into this new repository okay okay th th this is one way okay and another way is that you can fork you can fork any other any other person repository into your into your and if i if i see here if i see here you can see uh one person one fork is there okay and four people are watching so if i see the watcher name these are the watcher name and if i go to 
my other projects uh, okay if we go to some other projects you will see uh, yeah it has been forked by some other projects okay folk means it has been copied by some copied to uh, some other i would say git so let it be so so once you install everything you have to come here and then create your create your repository from here okay and once you are done well and good you will be uh, they will put you here okay now you, your git has been installed in your machine now how to how how can you uh, get this code how can how, how, how can you download this code so you can download it uh, from here okay so there are four way uh, i would say five way where you can do this thing in github desktop you have you, you can have a desktop application with the github also you can download the zip also or through git uh, okay hsvn okay so i i prefer to use this because it will be pretty fast so i will just copy this this thing this url okay the git url and then i will come to the command prompt okay and simply i will just i will just simply wrote right uh, git clone this okay so what it will do it will it will copy the projects uh, into into this repository okay so if i if i see there if i open this okay open this see user this bar development okay development test test so you can see a node.js hello world projects has been installed okay it's been downloaded okay now how can we push a code okay we can we can we can push the code uh, from command line or, or through the any uh, code vdi okay uh, so, so so let's do it from command line okay i have this code and then i will add something okay adding new comment okay if i do this thing now what will happen uh, once i save everything once i do a simple programming and then save everything now we need to push our code to github okay so we have made our changes now how can we 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 check the changes uh, there are different command like git branch okay this command tell us that on which branch you are you have to check then get pull okay this command pull any changes uh, which are ha which happened uh, in main and which are not there so these were the changes okay i mean i might have been done uh, earlier on okay then i can I have to do i have to check for status okay first two are not mandatory to every everything but this one is okay so i, I can see i am up to date nothing to com commit okay let me do some more changes i have added space here okay now what will happen if i do a git status uh, let me see where where i am Test. Okay, I'm not in test. Okay, let me go to that folder. Test. Okay. Yeah, let me open that project node hello world and then do some change here yes i was on wrong repository now i have done this thing and now if i go to command line and i check this it will say that there is one change okay so now we have to push so in order to push first we have to add all the changes changes in the git stage so 
I can I can give the file name by using this okay or simply or simply I will give a dot so what it will do it will add everything which changes are there so if I go there and check the status I, you can see that red uh, modified portion become a uh, green and it has been changed to be commented okay so it has been staged okay now we have to give comment like so commit dash m message message will be new new comment okay and then simply push the code okay so what it will do it will take all the changes from our machine and then push it to here like you can see in server i have added few comments uh like you can see it's a new comment okay and if you go there you will you will find that uh in this line i have added this green portion says that i have added this text okay so in this way we can we can we can we can see our changes and then if we don't want means mean if somehow uh this change uh, was not good okay then i can i can uh reset okay like this and there are different ways which i will explain you uh earlier on so if i, if I had done that and if you can see this thing that this code have been omitted has been changed okay so if any any wrong thing happen so through this i can simply go to the previous comment and then i can reset that thing okay i have reset this thing so instead of this it will now now from this code will and uh, when, when new comment will happen uh, it will it will forget this i mean it will not use this comment changes it will it will merge from this to uh, uh, the next comment okay like here i have used an uh, for simplicity i will add here okay and then as i did earlier in order to push i will check status okay i will add the test i will commit my changes with a message okay and then i will simply push the changes okay now if i if i come here i can say that okay new commit okay just let me check okay i have to do pull first and then i have to push okay okay yeah since uh those changes were there that haven't been pulled okay so so now what it does it merge the code okay and if we if you see that it it was there with, with this version and then they have merged and if i if i go to the code and see the code what happened okay since no conflict happened so they have merged but but actually uh, before this i have to pull my code and then i have to push okay okay so so the code is there in git okay whatever code we are doing we we can see our code is uh, co code is there and then in history i can see uh, what are the changes happened and it has been changed by who okay and if i if i if i see those things uh see those code uh if i go to the comment i can see okay what changes has been made like here i have added one space okay so those kind of thing we can we, we, we can do so i think that's all for today so today you have learned how we can in, in, in how we can download it how we can install it in our machine how we can use it through command end. okay one more thing uh let us uh we have a visual code okay i mean many people use a visual studio code so through this also i think this will be very easier because it's a 
will give us the visualization so uh, this uh, if we can integrate our, our code through visual code then it would be very better okay for that go to file uh, go to preference and then i think you have to go to settings okay and here you have to type get okay you will get a different different thing like uh, but go to go to git hub and then here you have to you have to uh, set here okay you have to set here by clicking it okay and then what will happen uh, this thing this synchronized source code will be integrated to get and whatever change you will made okay if, if you do any changes there uh, if i remove this to comment and if i save this thing you you will see that okay they point out like what change you have modified this thing you have deleted this thing and these two places have change has been made so you can you can see those change and then uh, in this step we were we were we were doing git add that dot so that will be done through this okay if, if i if i click on plus then it will add into the stage and if i give a message okay if i give a message and then click on commit okay then what happened it will push the code and then in between uh, you might uh, you might get a pop-up okay pop up from github like like or authenticate yourself uh, where you have to provide your github uh, user id and password suppose this is this is your uh, file so for this file uh, the credential which we use to log in here you have to provide that and then uh, allow allow uh, visual studio course to access it okay so if you've done that and synchronize your changes here click on synchronization what will happen whatever code you have here it will get pushed into github okay so you can see this comment this comment will change and the content inside the comment will also get changed okay like and you can see this right and if you see the history that okay what change has been made in this page so in this page these are the changes have been made and if i go to the latest comment like in latest comment what change has been made so red mean this two has been deleted from this page so in this way we can do a version control uh, we can do a collaboration among the among our friends or among our, our groups okay and in this way we can share a code i think it's a must for all the social uh, i mean engineers to have this uh, in your machine i mean because in this way you can you can share your code uh, with you with your friend okay so so that's all uh, that was uh, my motto to create uh, this video this was a my motto to create a video to explain you that how we can use a git and if you are till here i hope you have liked this video if you like this video then please uh, press the like button share it among your friend and please subscribe my channel so thank you and bye bye